We're getting ready to fire up. What we can do as a flight team is far advanced over what we did years ago. Technology that uh, and protocols that exist in the hospital were allowed to do on flight, and that wasn't the case 33 years ago. We load the patient from the side. My name's Farron Bivens, a flight nurse. Swing out. We tilt it down and so we take the stretcher to the patient, secure them on it, and then usually a group of at least four people will carry the patient back. Joshua Collum, and I'm a flight paramedic. At the start of the day, we you know come in, we have a like a shift briefing, we talk about flights that the off-going crew had the day before, um, look over charts, review those. Uh, we spend probably an hour checking equipment every morning. We check every piece of equipment on the aircraft and make sure we have everything that we need for any potential situation that we would come in contact with. Uh, as far as an individual flight, you know, we receive the dispatch that we have a lift request. We come up, gather up our equipment, load it into the aircraft, do a safety inspection, walk around the aircraft, make sure that there's nothing out of place, nothing abnormal, make sure all the lines are clear from it, and then we get in, take off, uh, paramedic typically sits up front and does a lot of the radio communication. We work together, but it's almost like a divide and conquer thing too. Another thing that's neat is we both essentially have the same scope of practice out there. You know, I can get report from the paramedic in the ambulance while he assesses the patient or vice versa, you know. What that person needs at that time to best care for them. Sometimes they, they need to, to be innovated. Uh, sometimes they just need a really fast ride to the, to the hospital. We formulate that plan, we get them loaded in the aircraft and take off and go to the hospital. We're here to provide a service and sometimes that's just rapid transport. Um, other times we're, we are doing those things that make a difference on the way, you know, and gosh, I guess it's a little selfish. I'm, I'm a, just proud to be a part of that. It was a childhood dream for me. I, I first encountered a, a helicopter EMS when I was about six, seven years old, and I was just absolutely amazed by it. I mean, I'd never seen anything like that before. And I grew up in a really rural area, so that wasn't something that we saw all the time. I always had it kind of in the back of my mind, and then just as, as luck would have it, as life happened, I kind of got drawn in the direction of, of uh, public safety and ambulance work and, and you know working in EMS and I think this was a, a natural progression through my career and I am called here by something higher than myself and I feel like this is where I belong. It's a service to the communities around us. The intent is to provide a high quality of patient care in a safe environment um, by uh, a qualified flight team.